Hello everybody, welcome to Filmmaking Today, Bojan Tulovic here. So, are you looking for a wireless microphone system, a field recorder, and something very easy to use? Stay tuned. All right, guys, just some housekeeping before we move on. This product was sent to me by Godsum, the company behind the Murfec Audio products. However, as always, they have no influence on this video. They're not reviewing it before it's being published, and all the opinions you're going to hear are my own. So, let's get started. In this video, we're going to talk about a product by Murfec Audio. This is the WE10, an ultra compact dual channel wireless microphone system. It comes with a transmitter and a receiver, which operate in the 2.4 GHz frequency band and have a line of sight distance of up to 50 meters. Now let's take a look at the hardware. On the receiver, there is a line-in and headphone input, a power button. On the other side, there is a USB Type-C port, a low cut, mute and gain button. And on the back, there is a clip that allows you to attach this to any hot shoe mount. The transmitter also has a clip. There is a recording switch, micro SD card slot, and USB Type-C port. On the other side, there is a power button, a microphone input, and various indicator lights. And on the top, there is an omnidirectional mic that allows this device to be used by itself without a lav mic. The WE10 kit is extremely lightweight and very portable. Now let's take a look at what comes in the box. This is what the front of the box looks like. Here's the back, the side, and the other side. Inside you will see the receiver and the transmitter and in here you will have all the manuals and cables. This is the cable to attach it to a phone. This is to charge the devices. This is the cable to attach it to a camera. And here's the lav mic that comes with it. Here's the windscreen for the built-in mic. And here's the pouch to put everything inside. And here's an overview of everything that comes in the box. Let's take a closer look at the receiver. If you want to turn it on, simply press the button for a few seconds. And if you want to adjust any of these functions, you simply press the buttons. When it comes to the gain, you can go from minus 18 to minus six, zero, three, six, and back to minus 18. If you want to mute it, simply press the button and then press it again. And the low cut will go from zero to 170 to 230 and back to zero. When it comes to the transmitter, you have the on-off button, which again hold for a few seconds. If the line light is solid, it means the device is connected to the receiver. And on the other side, if you want to use this as a field recorder, simply switch the rec button and it will start recording and switch it back if you want to turn it off. This allows you using the built-in mic to record straight onto the SD card separately from the receiver. All right, guys, so here we are outside testing this uh, this mic out. I am at my favorite spot. There's a lot happening here. There's obviously water behind me. There's a fountain there. There's a train in the distance, all kinds of animals, birds, ducks, you name it. So th there's a lot of uh, noise happening. I'm using the lav mic right now. Okay, so I'm now using the built-in mic, uh, no dead cat, and uh, no low cut filter has been applied, so it's on zero. And um, yeah, I'm still in the same spot. This is what that sounds like. So now I'm going to put the dead cat on and we're going to hear what that sounds like. All right, so here we are with the dead cat on and uh, same spot, same everything else. This is what it sounds like. Same settings as before. And uh, yeah, this is what all that sounds like. So. All right, guys, so we're back in the studio. Uh, so I am wearing uh, the, the mic right here. I'm using it right now as I'm speaking. And uh, so uh, a couple of things that I have definitely noticed. First of all, in terms of easy to use, how easy it is to use, uh, it's very easy. There is literally nothing to it. As long as they're charged, you turn both on, uh, the receiver and the transmitter, you make sure that the receiver is obviously connected to your camera with uh, the cable that comes with it, or your phone, again, with the cable, cable that comes with it. And that's it, you turn them on and uh, boom, they're gonna pair up, you're good to go. Start recording. Um, obviously adjust the levels and uh, all that good stuff uh, as you, you know, whatever makes sense. 
but uh, that's it there is really no complication if you are someone who just needs something um, uh, easy to use you need something just to work quickly um, you know if you are I don't know you're shooting a wedding or, or something that is very time sensitive you just don't have time to mess around with settings this is gonna do the job there, no problem now on the other hand if you are also a person who wants to have a, a lot of control over your audio um, you don't really have too much control here I mean you've got the, you've got the gain settings obviously uh, you've got the low cut filter but um, you know that's it basically beyond that so it, it just depends you know what you want basically um, I think for you know guys like me uh, whether you're a youtuber or whether you're someone who's uh, just uh, on the go and you need something quickly and all that this is gonna work perfectly right so like I said it all depends um, the, the one thing that I absolutely love about this this setup is the fact that it records onto an SD card and that is just amazing because it just gives you peace of mind right now I'm recording straight onto this camera but at the same time it is also recording onto the micro um, SD card the only thing you have to remember is to flip that switch to rec so that it actually records and then flip it back to stop so that it stops right uh, that's the only thing you got to remember and as long as you do that it, it, it gives you just ultimate freedom if something were to happen if the the audio between um, the the um, a transmitter and the receiver if something goes haywire and for whatever reason doesn't transmit properly uh, or if there's interference well it's fine I have it on the SD card as a backup and that is huge also the fact that you can basically use this as a field recorder you can use it as a whatever dictation device whatever you want right you just take the um, the actual um, uh, transmitter and you know just use it I've got it right here use this guy record straight into it record straight onto the card it could not be any easier so that is a big plus and I do hope that others um, going forward will you know use um, uh, have that feature basically because it is uh, could be a lifesaver if something happens right so that's all good love it uh, the one thing that I have noticed and, and um, you know I hope this can be fixed so the the gain uh, from um, this um, uh, the setup uh, is very high initially right so uh, what I mean by that is I've set it to minus 18 right and I did that uh, for all my tests and everything and uh, on my camera I also set it to the lowest which is minus 12 it still comes in ah, much higher than I uh, than I like right so right now I'm actually speaking a little bit quieter than I normally would because uh, I'm, I'm monitoring the levels of my camera just to make sure I don't peak right and I am getting very close to peaking right so um, I hope that can be fixed uh, with a firmware update um, that will be definitely beneficial because it, it, it is a little too high right um, if so minus 18 is the lowest on the um, the transmitter if we can set that to lower um, I don't know 24 30 whatever it is uh, I think that will solve the problem um, because there's really nothing else I can do uh, unless your camera um, you know goes below minus 12 that that's possible obviously depending on the camera so that will solve the problem for you but if you have if you're in a situation like me where your camera only goes to minus 12 uh, DB um, and that with minus 18 it still works it works right now obviously I'm talking normally but I'm talking a little bit quieter than I normally would just uh, for that reason so hopefully this can be fixed with a firmware update these things do have uh, a USB C inputs, so hopefully I can be used for a uh, firmware update right and uh, if they can then hey all good man um, if they can't that is something to keep in mind um, you know not a deal breaker it just depends I guess how, how loud you talk uh, and what kind of gear you have like I said and all that stuff but something to keep in mind other than that uh, this is a great setup it really is a I, I love how easy to use these things have gotten um, uh, you know without compromising quality obviously they're tiny you, know, you can carry them around and um, yeah just easy to use so that's it guys as always if you like this video hit the like button subscribe to this channel tell your friends and all that good stuff and stay tuned for more thanks